what's good josh your boy ross back at again with another video so i got some great news today man I, and i wanted to share it with y'all so for those who don't know i've been dealing with a false copyright strike from another youtuber that goes by the no sell zone and he basically false copyright strike two of my videos talking about the um the maxine getting booed at a live show event he basically claimed that the footage that i showed and the audio that i showed in both of those videos um he claimed that the footage was his and he had rights to the footage and he um falsely copyrighted both of those videos so i woke up this morning and i received a very great email that i was hoping to see let me show y'all this dear kicking in with ross in accordance with the digital millennium copyright act we've completed processing your counter notification the following videos have been restored unless you have deleted them and this is from the youtube team and the the video uh they're talking about is my reaction to jim cornett um talking about maxine getting booed and they played the audio in that clip and i got another email from uh the actual video footage i got from twitter um they sent me the same email for that a particular video so both of the videos are up and also i no longer have the copyright strikes on my channel so my channel right now is in great standings no copyright strikes nothing of the sort they removed them and put both of the videos back up and um i'm very thankful for that man i'm very thankful for that um because it was just one of those things where i knew something wasn't right you know and i, I and i knew that he was this individual was falsely claiming videos because i wasn't the only one that he did this to he did this to anyone else that talked about and showed that maxine got booed clip and he was literally copywriting the entire video you know so i'm um, very thankful that this happened and here's the thing and i want y'all to understand why this actually happened if he was really serious about claiming the videos and was serious about the copyright one with the emails that i had back and forth with the individual it would have been only about the copyright claim but instead he was over here talking about what said i claim and and what gang i'm a part of and talking about my quote-unquote followers sending him mean messages and talking about that i'm broke and he's gonna take me to court and all types of nonsense but at the end of the day i had to block the guy because i'm like there's no point in going back and forth with you and at one point i wouldn't even respond he was just sending me messages emails every day not talking about the claim so i was like okay i blocked his email and i put it out there like you know what if he's really serious about this claim he will send his legal uh representation they will email me talking about they want to take further action for those who don't know you have 10 uh, business days to actually respond to the counter notice because i sent two counter notifications to both of them because i was trying to fight them because i was like he's falsely copywriting these videos i'm not going to sit up here and have to wait 90 days for the for the strike to go off so uh, i'm going to go ahead and and counter send a counter notification if he was really serious, he would have sent over legal documentation saying that he's going to try to fight this in court and he has the right to do this within those 10 business days, then it would have got escalated further. The strikes would have stayed there and then that would have been it. But instead, he didn't do none of that. He didn't send no legal inf uh, legal information or documentation or anything like that. Because even if I block him, his legal team would send me something. It wouldn't even be him. He didn't say nothing and i just had to sit there and wait and that's exactly what happened no legal information was sent over and after that that was it they reinstated my videos and removed the strikes that was it well it was technically one strike for two videos but even then they removed it and now my channel's back in good standing the point i'm trying to make here is youtube has to do a better job at this and i'm definitely still going to hit team youtube up 
you know, somebody from support because they need to look into this person because he sent false copyright strikes to me and other content creators. He was harassing me in the emails, wasn't even talking about the initial uh, copyright issue. And then the videos got restored anyway, because he wasn't serious. He he literally was just BSing and that shouldn't be on a platform. Someone shouldn't receive a strike. What if he, it was multiple videos and then I got hit with three strikes at one time and my channel was deleted because someone else was abusing the system? That's my issue. And I'm still going to talk to Team YouTube. Everything was resolved on my end, but they need to look into this person because one, he's uploading illegal content himself. So that's one. And two, he's out here falsely copywriting falsely copyright claiming other videos that should that should not be legal that should be rights for termination on youtube because you're abusing the system for what so i don't know if they're going to do anything i'm still going to reach out to them to talk to them about this because i think that's messed up you shouldn't be you shouldn't be doing that you know what i'm saying it's just one of those type of things where it's like people like that you, you know they they make the YouTube community bad as a whole and we don't need people like that on the platform trying to falsely copyright people just because they're trying to make a buck when in actuality all he had to do was content ID the clip if it was really his as soon as he uploaded it and then he would have possibly made revenue from anyone that even had the audio or the visual of Maxine getting booed at a house show that's all he had to do so yeah, it's just one of those type of things where it's like, I'm glad it got resolved, but YouTube still needs to look into this person because they don't need to be on the platform doing that. That's how I feel. And it just, it, it makes the YouTube ecosystem that much worse when you have people on the platform like this abusing the system for their own gain. And in actuality, they're, they're, they're messing up things you feel me so but shout out to everyone that reached out to team youtube and and shout out to everyone that was you know sending some positive words i appreciate everybody on all social media platforms for everything that you guys have done uh, i thank y'all so much for showing um showing the the love and support throughout this process you guys are amazing so your boy is back in good standing with youtube so that's awesome um but yeah we're just gonna move forward from this and uh keep dropping some banger content wrestlemania is right around the corner i'm looking forward to that i know we got our monday night raw stream tonight so that should be fun we got a lot of stuff coming up and um, i'm looking forward to keeping that content uh a1 for you guys so you know we can definitely turn it up and run it up for wrestlemania this year man but i appreciate all love and support Road to 150k, and I'm still young, speedy YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all next one. Peace.